morning. So we are at Park 55 in, in Powell and we are waiting for our tour bus to pick us up to take us to Merwitz and then we're going on a wine tour. <laughs> that gets Caitlin smiling. <laughs> um, so little story, little confession about last night. We went out for dinner in Fisherman's Wharf and I ordered a clam chowder in a sourdough bread now that oh yeah totally bougie this is going to be well nice and it came and it had meat in it and I don't eat meat and I was like oh god I could send it back but at the same time there are lo there's like the homelessness crisis here in San Francisco is pretty bad so I thought I'm going to be just grateful that I've got food to eat and I'm going to eat it fine not a problem felt a bit guilty though my tummy was bad i had to leave caitlin in the in the lobby and of our hotel and just run to the room i was like no felice <laughs> no witnesses here for this um but i feel better now we got up pretty early half past five so but we've got a really exciting day ahead of us which i'm really looking forward to you excited? Very excited. Yeah. My arm's getting tired, it's like getting lower and lower and lower. <laughs> Got my Starbucks because what else are you gonna do when you're in America? I love getting Starbucks here. The cinnamon almond macchiato. Yum. Um, um exhi exhibition, there you go, on the right hand side. Can you imagine? There were ten of those. Whoa. They stretched all along the marina. That is and it worked. It got people like Ford, uh, Jefferson, Chaplin. Um, even the Liberty Bell was here for a couple of weeks. And it made San Francisco a focal point again. This was never meant to be a permanent fixture. This was like built as a temporary set, like a theatrical set. They rebuilt it in 1964 using more permanent material. And then they didn't know what to do with it. So for five years it sat there looking pretty. And they turned it into a hands-on museum for kids in 1969. <clears throat> but Mickey Car, Mickey Car, yeah. in 1821, and Mexico handed it over to the Americans in 1845. All of this area now, isn't that beautiful? Look at that on the right hand side. Look at the Golden Gate. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. All of this area now, handed back to the city. It's all part of what they call the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Um, go swimming, which is not the best thing to do. It's very cold. Got a few showers forecast for today, my darlings, just so you know. Um, it could be a little bit intermittent, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Right, if you've never seen the Golden Gate Bridge or <laughs> never driven across it, I think it's the most beautiful bridge in the world. Um, it was the biggest suspension bridge when it first opened. I don't think it's even eight or ninth now, it's way down that list somewhere. But it is, it's, it's beautiful it's a work of art they started it in 1933 they finished it in 37 so it took four years it cost 35 million dollars it came in on time and on budget look how beautiful this is i first came here 17 years ago i was bitterly disappointed it wasn't gold in color hold on we're on the bridge in three two one <laughs> the color by the way is international orange if you want to do your bathroom the same color <laughs> <coughs> the navy wanted to paint it yellow and black they thought it would look better in the would show up better in the fog this is actually the color of the rust sealant wow, so it spans 1.2 miles or about two kilometers the towers stand 746 feet high each with 600,000 rivets. Now look how close Alcatraz really is when you look out on your right hand side now. It's what I mean about oh, an optical illusion. It's a way out there, isn't it? Did you read in the paper the other day, the guy, you know that movie they made about the three that escaped in the 1960s? One of them has come forward now. I said, we escaped. The other two are now passed away of old age. He's in his late 80s. And he's going to give himself up. But he needs medical help, yeah. He's, he's can't afford medical, but they've, they're trying to come to an agreement to bring him in. <clears throat> that, of course, on your right-hand side, Alcatraz, not only home to him, home to Machine Gun Kelly, 
uh, Al Capone, Burt Lancaster and Clint Eastwood. <laughs> right, we're coming to the middle of the bridge. You'll see what's holding us up either side of us as we come to the middle. These cables come down low either side of us. You see them? They're about a metre, three feet in diameter. They've got 80,000 miles of wire running through them. And that's enough to wrap around the earth. And they go up to the top of the tower. And then they come down either side. They're anchored in these concrete slabs of about 120,000 tonnes. That's what kind of keeps us tight and keeps us up. Uh, on your right-hand side, to the left of Alcatraz, the big island that you're looking at, that's Angel Island. That used to be... Um, home to about 175,000 immigrants uh, over a hundred years ago. They were kept on there, you know, for up to four years, um, waiting for the immigration process to go through. It's now, I mean, there's, it's just a park now. Um, there's no traffic on there. There's just some hiking trails, some wildlife, some beautiful views of the city. But it's considered to be the, the Ellis Island of the, uh, the West Coast. <clears throat> Bay Bridge. <coughs> we don't talk about that one. <laughs> Nobody comes here to see that one. Uh, the tunnel we're about to go through is named after our most famous resident. You'll see his name coming up on the left hand side. They've just changed the name of this tunnel. This is now the Robin Williams Tunnel. I'll show you roughly where he lives. So while you're here in San Francisco guys, if you haven't got Sausalito on your to-do map, put it on there because this is beautiful. As we come out of the tunnel, look down on your right-hand side on the hill. This is Sausalito down here, this pretty little seaside town. Gorgeous. Isn't it? Now, by the way, Robert Williams' house is directly opposite on that point. It's where he lived and died. That's Tiburon. That's where he passed away over there. But uh, honestly, if you get a chance to come to Sausalito, they've got some great little restaurants and bars that sit on the, the waterfront. And the views of San Francisco. They've got some nice little art galleries, some nice boutiques, and about eight and a half thousand very snobby people. They are. It used to be. So we've arrived in Mill. Well, how do you say it? Mia Woods? Woods. And we're in our trendy ponchos. But it's raining, so I think we crossed this one. I thought you could keep the river on the left. What until you get to bridge three? Yeah, and then cross over it, and then by the time you come back this way, it's on the left still. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look how gorgeous it is. <gasps> so these are the infamous redwood pines. Oh. It's just all so pretty. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely not um, dressed suitably. <laughs> oh, this is cool, Caitlin. 909 AD. The tree is born. And this is all the things that survived. And in 1930, that tree fell. This is awesome. Wow. Look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? No, I'd love it if we left them. <laughs> it's 
So our bus was late this morning and we thought that you know we've missed something or we weren't in the right place. And it turns out that at one of the stops one of the girls got on and her friend had gone to get a coffee and they were waiting for her for like 15 minutes. She just didn't turn up, like, you know, casual. And then we went back to the stop, but she still wasn't there. And her friend was like, please wait. And he was like, no, she's going to have to get an Uber to this place, which she did. And when she got on, she just didn't give a shit. <laughs> she's like, I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> And they're just they're so extra and annoying, like she sat on the bus the whole time, bearing in mind he was trying to give a guided tour, just like <laughs> dancing. Yeah. It was so weird. People are weird, I can't bet them. Wow, wow, wow! Yeah, no, I love this sign. Just for the camera. Mm. He said you don't get any phone signal. I've got messages coming through on WhatsApp. <laughs> <gasps> Caitlin! That's because you got a badass phone. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying like, if you're not back at the bus, I leave you here. There's no phone signal, so like, literally puts the fear of death at us. So make sure we get back. On yeah. Time. What is that up on the tree? I don't know. There's a little thing up here that we can break you. So hopefully. That's peculiar, isn't it? It's like a veruca. It is, isn't it? But he said these <laughs> trees fight infection. Oh, it's a burl. Oh, that's on the route though, so. Yeah, but that one's obviously just an abnormal. A wart. Just looks so beautiful, I can't get over it. Wow. As the vines are concerned, uh, it's been a, a strange year. Um, you, you might have heard uh, it was rainy last winter, uh, very hot during the summer, and we had um, some fires that you might have heard or, or seen as you travel through here. Uh, fortunately, all of our vineyards went unscathed, uh, and we're uh, just trying to get through um, this past season, uh, we are in the process of testing some of those wines that uh, were picked after the fires. Um, they might have a little bit of a smoky characteristic to them, um, and we're going to see what we're going to do. But I think we're probably, since they're already picked and in in barrel and things like that, is just uh, go with it and see what happens. I mean. Hopefully, we will never have a vintage like that again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, you know, when we are picking, our harvest starts usually at the end of August, uh, runs heavily through September and October, and depending upon Mother Nature, can sometimes go into November. Uh, that's converting dry into alcohol, it stops short. No, uh, so they are left with what we call residual sugar. So a little bit of sugar left over to make it sweet. Um, and this guy made thousands of gallons of this. And so, Instead of, you know, dumping all of that wine, uh, what they did is send it, uh, they sent it to marketing and they regret So what's your name? I didn't catch it. Caitlin. I'm uh, Lawrence. Caitlin. 
And Annie. Annie. Hi, nice to meet you. Hands full. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin. Yeah. Annie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. British, British connection. Trip. Oh, that's pretty delicious. It's nice, isn't it? I do like my red. Do you? Mm. So, we are now in the <laughs> cute little village of Sonoma for some lunch. Bought some beautiful wines at, um, what was it called? Maya? Mayo. 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 I bought the sparkling and their Malbec because it was out of control and Caitlin got the port and I'm, I'm a little bit jealous but I'm happy with what I bought thus far because that's only the first, that's only the, the first bloody one isn't it? So we're off to the Sunflower Cafe for some lunch. Sonoma's pretty cute though. Like isn't it cute and so random? Like, it's, this is so random. Tell me it's random, Caitlin. Very random. And it's raining. <laughs> Not the dream. Oh my god, that smells really nice in the cheese factory. On the weekend, for just It's a, um, like a hash. Caitlin had soup and cheese sandwich. We got an apple spritz, and I'm not sure what this is, but it's vegetarian. Looks delicious. I'm excited. So this is Chiwon. How beautiful is it? Very <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Very free people, huh? Very good. How are you, everyone? <laughs> good, thank you. Welcome to the Q1 Wondery. My name is Eric. How are you, everyone? Oh, it's just wildly beautiful. Should we walk towards as if we're going to get some red? This is so gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful seat in my Beautiful, isn't it? We've just done our final wine tour. At, where are we? Colney, Clive, Clive and Clive. Yeah, had some delicious wine. So I'm gonna get a bottle of the. He said it differently. Oh, no. Viognier. Viognier. No, no. I I say it Viognier at home, but it's not. That's not how you pronounce it. I don't know. We ain't wine experts. Caitlin isn't a wine expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this the building I'm going into yeah. to purchase? This man has literally been taking business calls the whole time. Okay, chicken. Okay, do you know that guys get the free service charge with it at the end? Or this is I was asking not to put it. <laughs> so, thus far, what is your favourite band? What is your favourite band? <laughs> My favourite band? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> do you want to be on the vlog or not really? Guns and Roses. <laughs> 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 you know, I see Ruben in it. 
Are you recording? Yeah. How about I hold it a little farther back so it looks like, you know, it's you see... It's like so in my face. But now I feel like we're being interviewed. Well, like you it's see so there's like weird. fountains over there. You're not interviewed. Just like talk to me right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I was gonna say Do you like the new uh, friends that I introduced you to? Pardon? From London? Your new friends? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. No worries. No thank yous needed or anything like that that I introduced, oh, yeah. you know, strangers. Someone's, someone's a bit better about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a simple thank you would suffice. <laughs> Thank you so much. For oh, you're welcome so much. BFFL oh my God, BFF, <laughs> yeah, right we, back. I mean, we, we, just, like, we hit it off like that. We are connected. <laughs> <laughs> you should videotape me so you at least remember. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. So beautiful. All right, my, my favorite new friends from England. I chose you guys first before the other two. Yeah. You, know. you like had a little. You dipped your toe in. Yeah. See how I mean, it... her accent is the best. I love it. I mean yours too. Right? I like it. I like it. I guess my New York accent is not, you know, not enough for you. You probably hear it all the time. Yeah. Flight. You fly. Kaylee, <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite one? Um, the first one we went to. <laughs> Why was it your favorite? Because it was nice and small. And it was nice better. and small. <laughs> and the wine was. The good. wine was fucking. The wine was, the was bomb. But I have just bought a bottle of um, Viognier. <laughs> Viognier. It yeah. was. Yeah. If you put your head down like that, I have to zoom in and down, <laughs> down picture you look like a little munchkin. <laughs> this whole, would you recommend this whole yes, tour as a whole? Very good. So Merwood, Mia Woods, Merwoods, and three fun. wineries. Yeah, that was only earlier. Lunch in Sonoma. Like yeah, it's been a good day. It's been amazing. Dinner tonight. Dream. We've done San Fran in forty-eight hours. Amazing. How's everyone doing? Amazing. Is that help? Yeah. Use hers. This, I'll use yours. This looks so cool. Look at this. What the fuck? Bridge? San Francisco. How are we doing? Great. You need some help down there? Yeah, sure. Well, Wow. You would be beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so cold. <laughs> We're in the Starlight Lounge. I have got a cocktail, but more importantly, look at the view. So this is the view of the city. How beautiful. The vibe in here is awesome as well. And if you come in here before 9.30, you don't pay a cover up? Cover charge? <laughs> you didn't know what it was. It's like when you pay to get into a club like in the UK. That's what it is basically. But it's free to come up here otherwise. And it's really beautiful.
Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. Saturday, the 3rd of March, 4th of March, 3rd of March. And um, we had such a good evening last night. It was so good to see Maddie. Like, it's just wild that she was here. This is Caitlin. She loves mornings. Um, we have not got anything planned today. We're just heading out for breakfast. So we're staying in Oakland. So we're off to Buttercup for like a proper American breakfast. Hash brown, maybe pancakes. Order food. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Too much. We are in a proper American diner called Buttercup. Oh my God, look. We've got pancakes to share. Caitlin's got bangers. Hash. I mean, bread as well. Thank you so much. I've got Herbert's Rancheros, OMG double HKP. Caitlin, bang on in there. <laughs> this might seem a little weird because I was in San Francisco and I'm at home and it's actually one whole week after. Excuse me. It tastes like. Isn't that nice? Um, I got home a week ago. I forgot to vlog that I was home and then I've been so jet lagged and then I had a bit of a heavy weekend so I'm only just now getting around just telling you that I'm home and I had a fantastic time and I was so freaking jet lagged and I don't know how I did that as my job for like four and a half years you know so yeah that's the crack today's Mother's Day my sister and I took my mum out for a nice meal I went out dancing last night, so I'm a bit, a bit jaded. Got loads of work crap done today that I needed to get done. Still not all of it though. The sun never ends. But yeah, that was literally it. I'm gonna get this video edited, uploaded, and then I need to really start thinking and planning about getting um, some yoga videos up on this channel because I think it would be very beneficial for everybody 